Every time you'll be sweeping. Huh? I don't like doing I have to sweep. See, if I marry you, you will not be sweeping in my house. Thank you. You will marry me. You can sweep very well. Yes. Jen, what have you been doing? You are just sweeping now since you came to the shop. What have you been doing this job? Sorry, I'm trying to wind up work. Have you gone to the hospital to take your last injection? No, I've not, ma. But I intend going once See, I finish. See, Jane, you have to go now. Yeah. Okay. Listen, the, the reason why I take, I spend my hard earned money on you is because I don't want this malaria or whatever illness you are suffering from to come back and stop you from selling for me. That's the only reason why I take care of you. So you have to go to the hospital. Let me finish speaking. Go now! Look at that. I guess there's some liquid, there's something she should take that you put her in the right senses as doctor. I'll do as you said. Hey, yeah. I feel a pain, no matter how hard she try hiding it. Mm -hmm. She's good. <laughs> She's going up and down. I want to pick something. I want to go to the office. From, to this. To here. <laughs> from the car to the kitchen, from the kitchen to the toilet. Imagine that. Dumping motion. <laughs> Sorry, 
sir, what can I do for you? Yeah, I am the doctor. I control this territory. My name is Folake Chima. The only evil that speaks here about Pharaoh. <laughs> Welcome. Please let me talk. It's so much pride and ego. Oh, please don't let her hear you. I beg you. Who cares if she hear? I know by this time she has been crying out her life in the office. Let her cry. What is her? What in life? The almighty daughter of Christabel crying over a man. My dear, you can this say is that terrible. Thing. You can say that thing. Oh, it's it's a matter of the heart. Let her cry. Good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon, James. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Good. You're welcome. Thank you. So, how is your head? I'm better. Yeah. I can see. <laughs> I can see that. Oh, um, I see. You're here to take your last injection, right? Yes, I am. Good. Okay, um, go down straight to the doctor's office. She will attend to you. Okay? No, say this way. <laughs> thank you. Hey. Oh my God. Let's have a little bit of 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 a little I said, spread your legs. Goodbye, nurse. Oh, goodbye, my goodbye. dear. Eh, eh, come, Jane. Hope uh, she, she rubbed your this thing very well. Yes. Yes, that's the day. Bye bye. Hey. She didn't give her the wrong injection. What do you want me to see? <laughs> Go ahead. The doctor is around. Yes, she is. Okay. Hope I'm not so late for my appointment. Mm, you are, but luck still lies on your side because she's in the office waiting for you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Can I say hello? Yes. Thank you. You're looking beautiful. Thank you. Only her knows how it feels to stay without a child for so many years after marriage. Oh. Her knows. Must we gossip about other people's problems? Huh? Serious talking, no? Are you serious? Maybe you can pretend, no? Why are you not the one gossiping about a. Whatever. I don't want to gossip about Mrs. Jude, please. Mr. Enda. Mrs. Jude, how are you? I'm fine, doctor. And how is your husband? Okay. Hope you're okay. I am very okay. <laughs> um, so, so we will get on with it, right? <laughs> Seriously, doctor. You don't know how excited I am today. This whole thing is going to open a new world for me. 
a world of happiness. I understand. I'm so, so happy. <laughs> I understand how you feel. Um, all right, Mrs. Jude, let's get started. Yes, Doctor. I thought I told you to prepare the spam for the examination today. Yes, I did prepare it. It's in your office, inside the injection plate. Inside the injection plate? In my office? Yes. Just made the biggest mistake. 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 Doctor Crystal. Doctor Crystal made a on mistake. Ah. Uh, I'm not here this. Okay. I'm very sorry. I wasn't in the right frame of mind. I've been going through some emotional trauma. You dare not tell me that nonsense! How dare you inject that monster's head into someone who doesn't know? Please. Oh my god. I can identify her. Who is in her? Then, you better go outside there and look for her. Before I move! Tell me what my wife told me of who is not true. Just tell me. Oh tell me, doctor. In all my years as a 
really good at all. I have never been in this kind of mess. Please, I will find this, I'll find this girl and I'll bring her to you. <laughs> find her. What difference does it make? It's only meaning that another woman is carrying my husband's child. It's not good. <laughs> Look at me, oh Dogu. A little girl is carrying my semen. My semen, my spam in a little girl's womb. What would I do now? It's well. <laughs> she will be found. I know. I know. Jim. Sit up. There is something I need to discuss with you. Jen, there is this particular guy that I always see around you anytime I come to the shop. I mean, who is he and who is it to you? I'm 
Ти не знам изпита. Хиби. Но мали конфу да шоу ти стопни. We don't have anything. I don't have anything to do with him. Nothing. Jane. It's better you don't have anything with him. It's better you don't have anything whatsoever to do with him. Do you understand me? Yes. In as much as I have accepted you to live in this house with me, I want the best for you. That is why I treat you like my own blood. So I don't, I don't want you to, to, to do anything that will bring shame to you or do anything that will make me lose my trust for you. Is that understood? Is that understood? Yes, Auntie. Auntie, I promise to be of good behavior. Okay? And I promise never to let you down. It's okay. It's alright. Just go back to sleep. It's just a new way. Any phone numbers? None. I guess she doesn't have a phone. What about her next of kin? Next of kin? Yes, but no phone number too. But Doctor, why don't we go to the area written down here and ask people? Maybe they might direct us to the house. This is going to be a very difficult one. I'm sure there must be a thousand and one young ladies that bear the name Jane and might look like her. So it's really going to be difficult. Yes, but remember... Mr. Jude was not joking when he made his threat. See you guys later. Um, please make sure you are not for that takes care of the other patients. And if there's an emergency, call me. Okay. 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 Please excuse me. Do you live here? Yeah, this is my house. Okay. I'm looking for one young lady called Jane. Do you know her? I don't know anyone by name Jane. Thank you. Tomorrow morning, 
I will take you to the hospital tomorrow morning, and my own spawn will be used. I'll be there to make sure that it is done. Yeah? Never. I'm not going to step my foot into the hospital again. No, I'm not going. I'm not going there again. You know what? I want to be left to you. Leave me. Excuse me, but you know it's not my fault. No. It's not your fault? Is that what you're telling me? It's not your fault. I think you were able to get me pregnant on this our matrimonial pledge. We couldn't have been calling a doctor to inseminate your spam into me for the first place. You don't have to tell me that. Leave me alone. What is wrong with you? Why are you sleeping at this time of the day? Why are you sleeping? Is there something you think I should know? No, Jane. No. I mean, I've been looking at you for quite some time now, and you've changed. I mean, look at you. You are becoming more womanly. The swollen face, the bigger breast. I mean, the tiredness. Everything is written all over you. Jane, who have you been sleeping with? Ma? I said who got you pregnant? Me? Yes, you, Jane. You are pregnant. Look at you. It's written all over you. Auntie, I'm not pregnant. Besides, I'm still a virgin. <laughs> Thank God, this girl. This girl. Don't make me laugh. Jane, don't make me laugh. I mean, are you trying to play on my intelligence or what? No. Jane, yeah? you know what? Just lock up this job. We need to see a doctor right now. And let me tell you, if I find out that you are pregnant, you know what I'll do to you? I'll just send you back to those your, your wretched parents in the village. Look at her. Just lock up the shop and let's go. Be faster. You don't need to make me happy. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Come on, baby. I love you, honey. I can't leave you alone. Let's go out. I say I want to be left alone. I did not do anything. Jane, how do you expect me to believe this baseless lies of yours? You were there, and the doctor confirmed that you are two months, two months pregnant. So, explain it. I don't, I don't get it. Auntie, I don't even know how possible it is that I'll get pregnant when I didn't sleep with any man. That means you must be the second Virgin Mary that is about to give birth to the second Jesus. Which I know is not possible. It's not in any way possible, Jane. What are you telling me? Auntie, 
I swear you have to believe me. I didn't do anything. Yeah, you know what? Just go in there, pack your things. Because I cannot continue to keep you in my house. <laughs> Don't think I'm joking. You're wasting my time. Start explaining. I did believe. I did not throw me out of the house. I did. You're the only one I have in this whole world. I did please don't throw me out, Jane. You are you wasting my time. I'm just going and get your bag and leave this house. I did please don't throw me out. You know what? Just hold on. I'll I get did. your bag for you. I, I did please <laughs> don't get my bag. <laughs> Now listen to me. Listen very well, doctor. Now, I'm almost losing my wife. Just because of you. Because of your clumsy mistake. Huh? Now, <clears throat> find that girl. Find the girl before I will do something drastic. Now listen to me. My threat still stands. Find that girl. Don't. I don't want to hear anything from you. Nonsense. What type of a mistake is this? How can you imagine? Jen. So this is why you hear the truth. Say you don't get belay. What is true? Say you get belay. I know one of all these boys where they disturb you. They don't give you a belay. But me and they come to your auntie shop, they disturb you. They you say I love you. But you know here. Yeah. Now you don't get belay now. Peter. You can say whatever you want to say. You can say whatever you want to say. The truth still remains that I'm still a virgin. You are still a virgin. Okay, wait till you come there inside your belly if you be virgin. Please, I don't have time for all these things you're saying. <laughs> virgin, don't go up your virginity, eh? My wife suck 
every day and every night. I understand her pains and what she's going through. Honey, you don't understand. You don't understand. If you understand me, you could have gotten this lady arrested for taking what rightful belongs to me, my child. I could have given her. The last time I opened my eyes, I was at the market. Where am I now? And where is my child? You see, first of all, you have to eat something. And as for your child, he's safe. Is it a boy or a girl? Actually, he's a boy. <gasps> Jane, the pregnant virgin, gave birth to a baby boy. A bouncing baby boy. This is a miracle. What did you just say? Pregnant virgin? How? You see. I have never had sex in my life. I got pregnant miraculously. I can't believe this. If you are telling the truth, that means this is miraculous. Pregnant virgin. Please. Where's my child? Jane, just give me one minute, okay? I'll be back. Here's your food. Try and eat something, okay? Like I said earlier, he's fine. Just try and eat something, okay? But I want to see my child. I want to hold him. Please. Okay. Try and eat something. I'll be back, okay? Alright? Make sure you eat that food.
you bring joy and happiness to me with your smile. I love you so much. You know, sometimes I keep on wondering about this. And at times, it looks unbelievable. <laughs> and at times, it looks like a miracle. Thank you for bringing me to your house. Thank you so much. That's okay. You know when I saw you at that market lying down helplessly, I knew you needed the help. And I wanted to help you because I hate seeing people suffering. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I don't have much to offer you. All I can give to you right now is a roof over your head and sometimes food on the table. That's if I can. Hmm. Stephy, there is no problem about that. You have already provided the most essential thing for my child and I. As for food on the table, don't worry about that. I will work to provide food. I have always been a hustler. Okay, dear. I have to read now because I have an exam tomorrow morning. Okay. Hear you, please. Can you continue? Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can understand. Yes, I can hear you. Oh, God, babe. Yeah, babe, answer me. I don't work finish. I want to go. All right, all right. Oh, God, pay me my money, ma, they go now. Oh, God, babe, answer me. My picking in the house, they cry now. Answer me, ma, they go, I beg. Okay, please hold on, hold on. Your picking there has a cry. Waiting call for Sammy. Oga, pay me now. I don't work for me. Don't go pay me. Oga, pay me your mother. Go, my picking they cry now. Your picking they cry. Waiting call for Sammy. I beg, give me money, ma. They go, I beg. I don't work for for you now. Don't go pay me. Ha. Wow. Pay me now. What is it? Please, sorry. I I just have somebody disturbing me here. I don't know. Can you continue? Oga, beg, pay me, ma. They go. I don't work for you now. Don't go pay me my money, ma. They go. Get away from here. Alright. Take the money. Get out from here. Nonsense. Leave this place. This boy, always crying. Stifey, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please, where's Miracle? He's sleeping for now. Seriously, ever since you left this house, this boy has been crying. The more I try, the more he opens his mouth like a loudspeaker. Stifey, I'm sorry he's giving you troubles, eh? I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's not your fault. No problem. That's babies for you. They don't care about what you think. They do whatever they want. Anyway, I got you great. You got me great. Mm. This is for me. Anna, how did you know I was hungry? <laughs> Stifey, please let me see if he has woken up. Let me see if he has woken up. You better go.
outside to sleep. Hey, <coughs> Miracle! You have succeeded in sending our benefactor out of our own house. Hey, so blind now. Babe, I don't know what's in the car of my picking body. Eh? It makes him restless every day. Madam, it's too bad. Do you expose him to the sun every day? Hold him, let me give you some more. Okay, uh, give me five. My wife likes it. Baby, is that your child? Oh, oh the boy is fascinating. <laughs> Let me come down to you.
Sim, 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 sim. A Lulu. Olha, Karen. Mira aí. Não, olha na pula. Mira a pula. Mira a pula. condition is not getting any better. He's getting worse by the day. I'm taking him to the chemist. Chemist? Yes. After all the drugs we gave to him? <laughs> Jane, I think we should take this boy to the hospital. Saifi, <laughs> stop talking as if you don't know what's on ground now. Nah. Can we like get money to take him to the hospital? Eh? Can we like get money? Jane, see, this boy, this boy's health is getting worse. So we need to take him to the hospital before something bad happens to him. Take him to the hospital. Yeah. Go and look for where you will see. And just anything. Okay, see, his health is getting worse. We need to take him to the hospital before something happens to him. Hey. Okay? Just go, go and meet with him. Just go and look for something. Just look for money, anyhow. So that we'll take care of him, okay? Jane! Yes, yes, please, Basie! Oh my god, Jane! Nurse, please, my friend brought him in so hours ago. Basie, please, please. Ah! Oh. Wonder shall never end. Jane! Is Miracle your son? Yes, he is. Basie! Sorry. Ah. Sorry. Ah. 
mother. Thank you. Thank you, Mama Jane. Jane. What is wrong with my son? Is he a Thank you, gracious Lord, for bringing her back to me. You mean you were the one that inseminated me? A virgin? With a mild master man? Hey! Ma. Very much welcome. Feel free. Uh, this is your home. My son. Is it sleeping already? Sleeping already? Yeah. Come on, son. Sleeping already. Come on, boy. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Honey, you know what? Today is my happiest day. I know. Oh my God. Go, go, go. Please, please go inside. <laughs> 